We're going to Zabagrad, huh? Nice place? It's 20 clicks behind enemy lines. Important harbor. The army's launching on offensive and we're gonna be the first ones to go in. Haven't they got guys specially trained for that? Well, we're going in before them. They're too expensive to waste. As Preston Marlowe, a fresh recruit for the 22nd Army Battalion's B Company, your life is one of constant danger. You and three other insubordinate SOBs are risking it all by trying to accomplish your mission for the Army and maybe grabbing a bit of gold for yourself along the way. If you want to survive the fight, you're going to need to know your battlefield. The first thing you need to know is that nothing is permanent. Almost every part of the game's large open environments can be destroyed, including buildings, vehicles, trees, and even the ground you stand on. Taking cover is important, but what's there, now, could be gone in a flash. You can only be sure of one thing. Things are going to look a whole lot different after the shells and explosives start flying. You can't change the destructible nature of the battlefield, so go ahead and embrace your ability to change the landscape. So what if there's a building in your way? Just think of your grenades as instant doors and windows. Enemy tanks may be a little bit sturdier, but they're not so tough if you take out the bridge underneath them. Guns are a soldier's best friend, and you'll want to keep a lookout for different kits. In addition to knowing your battlefield, you have to know your role. The demo kit packs a shotgun and explosives, which both have obvious battlefield applications. Meanwhile, the high-powered sniper rifle in the recon kit will give you plenty of range. Sometimes, though, you'll find you could use a little outside help. In Bad Company, you have the power to create literal smoking craters with remote-controlled mortar strikes and laser-guided tactical missiles. You'll want to do most of your fighting with your two feet planted firmly on the ground, but it pays to familiarize yourself with the various vehicles at your disposal. Choosing your mode of transportation based on your needs, you can grab a speedy jeep, badass tank, or an ultra-mobile helicopter. Just keep in mind that, like everything else, whatever hunk of metal you climb into is far from invincible. Whether you're going for gold and glory in the single-player game or going all out in a 24-player multiplayer match, there's a lot to consider when you hit the battlefield in Bad Company. This battlefield is guaranteed to be a school of hard knocks and huge explosions. Just remember to keep cool, keep moving, and keep your head right, and you might just get to know the taste of victory. Find out how it all ends on June 25th.